Educator's Video Tip Series. As we traveled through these turbulent times, I felt that as an educator, it is essential that we support each other. So with that thought in mind, I've created a series of videos to help educators navigate this new landscape. In this set of tips, we will discuss ideas that can help you still work with your students online and still try to manage some type of normality for them. This series is called the Video Tip Series with Rinaldo Lawrence. Welcome to the Educator's Video Tip Series. Tip 3. If you wish not to have your face on screen, no problem. Record your audio, then place all of your audio in individual folders, and then place the document which refer to those audio files that you recorded in the same folders. Then share those folders with your students. Make sure that you turn on view only so the students cannot alter the files. The Educator's Video Tip Series. Tip four, if you're an educator and want to learn how to create videos, then there are a few programs that are easy to use and could help your workflow. One is Adobe Spark. Spark is a program where you can create websites, videos, and images all for free. Then there is Loom. Now Loom is an online interactive video creator that is easy to use and also free. Another program is Adobe Rush. Rush is an online video application that is made for desktop and mobile. It is an all-in-one video editing application and solution. And then finally, if you want to use videos from YouTube but only want sections of the video, then TubeChop is perfect for you. You can easily cut your videos up into different sections in order to differentiate your content for your students. Tip 4 was brought to you by I Am More Than What You See, a small journey through a big world. Get yours now at Amazon.co.uk or Amazon.com.